JBN, we keep you informed. Jamaica Most Wanted, Episode 2, Dennis Copper Barth. Experienced crime fighter, Assistant Commissioner of Police Keith Gardner, has labeled the feared gang leader of the 1970s, Dennis Copper Barth, the most ruthless criminal that he has ever known. Copper, who headed the infamous and feared Hot Stepper Posse, was the man who introduced organized crime to Jamaica. From the age of 18, he had his first sentence of murder and was convicted of at least 12 crimes, including shooting, robbery with aggravation, illegal possession of firearms, and was connected with a number of bank robberies and murders. Before the year 1969 ended, Dennis Copperbath had amassed sentences totaling some 40 years' imprisonment upon conviction for robbery with aggravation and the several counts of wounding with intent in the Home Circuit Court. In August 1969, the late Justice Wilkie passed a sentence of 20 years' imprisonment at hard labor on, on copper on his conviction by a mixed jury on two counts of shooting with intent in the number 2 Home Circuit Court. Copper and Halva Green of East Kingston Addresses went on to trial in the number 1 Home Circuit Court jointly charged with robbery with aggravation that same year. Copper was defended by attorney Patrick Atkinson, the former attorney general, and Green was defended by attorney Churchill Nita, both later appointed QC. Copper also received a further life sentence for shooting two police officers at a bar in Rum Lane in Kingston that same year. Then in February 1973, Copper made his first escape bid from the St. Catherine District Prison, and two months later, he was recaptured. Again in March 1977, Copper escaped from the facility. On that occasion, five other inmates joined him in the escape. At the time, the prisoners were alleged to have been playing a game of football, according to reports from the prison. From 1977 to 1978, posters were put up all over the country for Jamaica's most wanted criminal, Dennis Copper Barth. Rewards were offered by the police for any information leading to his arrest and capture. April 30, 1978. That was the fateful day Copper and his cohorts decided to hold up Caymanus Park after races had been completed and the day's sales were being tallied. For these criminals, it was to be one of their biggest hits, but they failed to put into the equation the firepower of the police who were present. And so when the fight fight ceased and the smoke cleared, two policemen, acting Corporal Keith Moss of the Mobile Reserve and Special Sergeant Eugene Lee of Harmon Barracks were injured. Moss died the following day in the Spanish Town Hospital and Lee died four days later. Copper died on the spot from a policeman's bullet when his submachine gun fell from his grasp as he and his colleagues took flight. He had turned back to pick up the weapon when the sharp shooting cop found his mark. Also killed that day was one of his accomplices, Derek Shaba Adair, a former jockey. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily updates.